Welcome to Confiance ERP. This is our new implementation where we have linked our ERP system to an e-commerce site. ERP is basically enterprise resource planning which helps to bring together every functions of a company together into a single platform. And an e-commerce site in simple words is a site through which we can sell our products uh, online. Okay, now let's move on to the ERP side. Over here, as I told you, it links together all the main functionalities of a company together into a single platform. We can see the warehouse where we, uh, we can get the information related to the products, uh, its quantity and its uh, amount, such related things. And we can do purchases and uh, we can uh, do the, we can view the sales, sale orders, such things. And the invoicing, which means the account related things and uh, this is by clicking on the e-commerce we can see um, our shop we can um, by this ERP system it uh, we can manage different shops together from a single uh, single ERP site um, and over here by clicking on uh, on the shop we can see the basic details regarding a shop okay and uh, there is also procedure to create a shop from here and then uh, moving on to the main details um, the products which we can see by clicking on the product um, menu we can see all the products available right now and uh, um, we can create a product right now now we can add a new product like Samsung Galaxy Grand and um, we can set a category which comes under mobile phones Android okay and we can set an image by selecting brand okay and then we can set the product as a stockable product and give its amount and Indian rupee it's like around 20,000 and an internal reference okay the cost price it can be like something around 16,000 okay maybe and so okay these are the basic details and we can give some description like Samsung Galaxy Grand Android 4.2 okay something like that and then uh, once we save this product this product will be automatically it gets updated in our e-commerce site which is always synced so whenever we make changes regarding this product its amount or its category or anything it gets uh, synced with the e-commerce site so I'll show you once we save this product now we can take our e-commerce site and click on you can see the mobile phones category inside that there's Android by clicking on Android right now uh, the Android phones will be displayed so here is Samsung Galaxy Grand which we have added right now by clicking on it we can see the details we have entered regarding it so we gave a description like Samsung Galaxy Grand and extra details a reference we can add it and right now we haven't purchased any uh, any um, any phone right now so the availability of this product will be set this product is no longer in stock so for that we have to purchase uh, a product which can be done through our ERP on the ERP side by clicking on the now click on the purchase menu over here we can view all the purchase orders in different states okay uh, we can create a new purchase order by clicking on the create button and then we can enter the supplier okay and uh, uh, its 
mandatory like uh, it's, it's not mandatory C E B okay and now we have to enter the product which is Samsung Galaxy Grand okay and then the quantity which can be one or two let it be three okay fine and then after entering the required details okay this is the incoming shipment and invoice it is uh, it actually tells us it's for the information relating the payment of the purchase like once it is delivered or uh, after delivery the payment will be done such related, such later details can be added here and then uh, we can confirm the order by clicking on confirm order button and now this uh, particular purchase order has been confirmed and we can once we can receive the product we can click on the receive products button and uh, once the product is received then we can see that three products have been added by clicking on the warehouse tab we can see um, by going to the products then over here Samsung Galaxy Grant quantity on hand 3 okay so going to the our e-commerce site we can see that um, our Samsung Galaxy Grant yeah it has been updated three items in stock and uh, um, so, it's de so such details has been sent and it can be and it can be viewed here so so till now we have purchased and uh, we can uh, we know what's happening in the warehouse and regarding uh, sales okay um, a particular customer comes to our ERP site and he has to log in by clicking on the login button then um, already registered or he can register by entering his email address over here okay right now we can register um, with a test user dot com okay the password okay and by clicking on the login button i hope it's login yeah so now we can see um, the customer has logged in and he can buy a particular product he can view uh, by going to the home site okay. uh, he can see all the new products and uh, its amount and the these are the latest products and top selling products such things can be seen directly and his account his his orders his uh, credit slip such details can be seen here personal and info okay i'm not going much into it so right now uh, a particular customer comes and he wants to buy an android phone he clicks on the android and then sees samsung galaxy brand selects the product and now he can add it to his cart can give the amount okay and or add it to his wish list okay now he's going to add to his cart okay it has been updated one product and now uh, he can also add other products at the same time and when he's finished he can um, okay then click on the cart button over here and now uh, we can see uh, this is the confirmation page where you can confirm his um, his purchases okay grant uh, its price the quantity total amount okay such so things you can add vouchers also uh, if it's there and uh, then then we can click on the next button over here and it goes into the next stage so, um, right now we have logged in already so we, we have skipped to the address stage uh, over here 
uh, we can choose a delivery address which can be my address or we can add a different addresses use the delivery address as a billing address okay and then by clicking on the next button okay to the shipping conditions to terms of service i agree with the terms of service okay and uh, then um, the carrier and such information <laughs> okay we can wrap it as a gift also it's optional then we can click on the next button and where it shows the payment options please select your preferred payment method or pay the amount okay um, right now um, and then uh, we can click on the pay button over here so now um, cash on delivery we can there's actually different types of payment right now we have um, selected the cash on delivery payment so so this is about i confirm my order when we confirm our order this will be noted in our erp system also so by clicking I confirm my order now that order has been confirmed okay it's complete and that's it and then we can go and view our in the ERP in our ERP system uh, clicking on the sales and then taking the sales order okay we'll come to sales order and then um, actually now the that sales order it's in the quotation state so we can see it over here and, the, and by clicking on it we can view the details relating to it so samsung galaxy grant and the other shipping charges if it's included will be noted so then once the sale is confirmed confirm the sale order now um, it's the what has been confirmed and there are two options like creating the invoice or uh, we can view the delivery order okay by clicking on view delivery order so this is the delivery order one quantity one uh, and we can check the availability by clicking on that button and now it is available and by clicking on the deliver button our product will be delivered to the customer so this is a simple um, integration with of an ERP site ERP ERP system with an e-commerce site now we can view the sale analysis by clicking on the reporting tab on the top and over here we can view sales analysis Okay, by clicking on the sales analysis menu, we can see uh, right now it's grouped according to the sales person. So we can uh, change it by uh, regarding on the year, month, day, like clicking on the month and according to the product. Okay, now by clicking on the sales person, we can see um, the sales that has took, taken place in different months. So right now it's May and by clicking on May uh, we can see the products which has been sold uh, on that month uh, under the particular salesperson. So we can see the number of uh, the lines, the quantity and uh, which has been shipped and total price and such details. So this is a simple sales analysis which can help us to understand what's going around uh, in the company so this is all about the our ERP system thank you